now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Truck Weather Bulletin for July 31st. Well, here we are on the final day of the month, and we have three systems now active, Tropical Storm Hilda, as well as 9E in the Pacific, both of which formed today, as well as a land depression that is located over India, expected to weaken down by tomorrow. 44 storms have formed so far this year, as we enter day 212 of 2021. In the Atlantic, it is day 61 of hurricane season here, no storms are active, and no systems are uh, expected to develop in the next five days. Uh, so enjoy the quiet period before we see that uptick by the second half of August. That is what we are expecting at this point. In the Eastern Pacific, it's day 77 of hurricane season there, and things have taken an active turn here. Hilda, which is slowly strengthening, 9E, which is expected to become a tropical storm soon enough, and of course, an area of interest that still was not invested yet, a 70% chance of formation here. In the Western Pacific, it's Invest 95W that is the only feature here today. 10% chance of formation, although the JTWC is going uh, with a tropical cyclone formation alert, although this is nowhere near cl uh, close for a tropical cyclone status at all. In the North Indian Ocean, there is that depression located over northern India at this point. It is expected to continue moving westward and further inland, where it will likely uh, dissipate over the next day or two at the very most. Typical activity of what you see in the, at this time anyways, if we do get anything. In the Atlantic, you can't really see much going on here, uh, because there really isn't much going on here. Some extra tropical stuff going on uh, in the north there, with that one going into the United Kingdom at the moment. Other than that, it's just some convective blow-ups and a few tropical waves that really won't be uh, developing over the next few days. In the Eastern Pacific, you can quite clearly see everything going on here. Uh, a whole Three different blobs there, to the right there, the one on the left being 9E, the central one being Hilda. And then, of course, that eastern one being the area of invest. If it does get an invest tag, it would be 91E. I'm sure that will be coming some point tonight. In the western Pacific, you can clear, quite clearly see 95E, which is a just completely elongated, disorganized, uh, practically a line at this point. Uh, very little development expected, even though the, fa the JTWC and JMA have been uh, going with advisories for storms that are uh, threatening Japan especially as the Olympics continue on, so I'm not sure if it has any association with that, uh, but we are not expecting any kind of tropical cyclone development with 95W. In the North Indian Ocean, you can see how uh, pretty good the rotation is with that uh, land depression that is going in uh, India right now. Looking pretty good, uh, although of course that is expected to unravel over the next day or two as it continues inland, and of course inland stuff always dissipates soon enough. Um, and then of course you have the floater on all three systems in the Eastern Pacific, uh, 9E, Kilda, as well as that area of interest. Uh, Going to be interesting to see how these three will interact given the fact that they all could be influencing how these storms ha have their own futures. Although Hilda is expected to be the one that becomes a hurricane uh, by the early next week period. Here are the sea surface temperatures. The eastern Pacific looking about 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, although those coastal areas near Mexico are, are around 30 degrees Celsius. Gulf of Mexico has a lot more areas at 30 degrees Celsius at this point, especially as get into the coastal areas, and of course the main development region remains around 27, 28, up to 29 degrees up in spots. Uh, some of the subtropics are starting to partake in that 28 to 29 degree warmth as well. Something to be watching for the next several weeks. In the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for those pretty warm temperatures in the uh, Bay of Bengal there, uh, 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, although once you get into the Arabian Sea, it's much cooler there. In the Western Pacific, we're looking at those 28 to 29 degrees Celsius temperatures for a majority of the basin, although there are quite a bit of areas that are under the 30 degree isotherm, especially as you get into the South China Sea. Uh, where Invest 95W is, it's about 24 to 25 degrees Celsius, a little bit warmer actually, uh, but it will be tapping into some of those cooler waters, so if anything, uh, the maximum we will be seeing is some tropical development. Here are the sea surface temperatures, you can still leave the cool, see the cold pool left behind by info there, and then of course those Sea of Japan waters are extremely abnormally warm. Uh, the tropics in general are relatively warm, main development region looking warmer than normal, Gulf of Mexico looking warmer than normal. Eastern Pacific is a little bit in the recovery state of things, so I'll be interested to see what goes on with that. On this day in 1978, Tropical Storm Amelia had recently formed and was making landfall uh, near Brownsville, Texas. Also active was two typhoons, Typhoons Virginia and Wendy, both of which were Category 1s. 
and would uh, pretty much be affecting land in their own way. Virginia would pass through Japan, and at this point, Wendy was uh, stalling to the south-southwest of the Korean Peninsula. So that was what was active on this day, and this is powered by Cyclone History. You can find them on our Twitter at our tag below. Well, with that, this puts the next names in the Atlantic at Fred and Grace still. In the Eastern Pacific, it is now Ignacio, followed by Jimena, two names we will likely be seeing soon with that aspect. And in the Central Pacific, you can see storms crossing over from the Eastern Pacific into the Central Pacific with Hainee, but you're still not going to get Guarantee and Hone in the slightest. In the Western Pacific, it's Lupit, followed by Marine, although of course the Partak should have been next, but we all know how uh, low pressure systems work. It's still got names, so Lupit remains next. And in the North Indian Ocean, it's Gula, followed by Shaheen. And then going into the Southern Hemisphere with the Southwest Indian Ocean, the next is Anna in Batsire. In the Australian region, it's Patty. And in the South Pacific, it's Cody. We will be back for another Trouble with the Bulletin to start the August of tomorrow night.